Hello and welcome to the Fibonacci free video for Monday, February 14th. This is David and we are going to look tonight at Microsoft. So um, Microsoft is not alone in bouncing from some pretty clean support levels here today, right? Um, so if we just take the, the move up from the January low to the high the week before last, um, Today's low is almost exactly at the 61.8% retrace of that rise. There are some other measured levels which coincide with it. <laughs> um, and there are some other levels which coincide uh, pretty closely with this 292.70 level, which is our voodoo snow line. So even, <coughs> even though that didn't match uh, our low, which was um, slightly lower, we did recover that snow line and <laughs> work our way uh, back up. So it is a nice little um, intraday bounce. It remains to be seen whether this um, continues. And so that brings me to tonight's topic, which is really that, look, not all support is for buying, right? And um, and, and that's why we often want to incorporate some, uh, some views of the trend as well. And, um, and, and really treat support as an opportunity to try and join an uptrend right while resistance is a spot to try and uh to try and join a downtrend and right here the um the trend at least certainly in larger time frames is still unclear or um better put some of the work that we're doing um in the indices and elsewhere uh suggests that we probably are still in an uptrend but we very well may continue the pullback from the all-time high further first before we turn and while microsoft or any other individual name doesn't have to do exactly what the indices do um how the indices behave is a is a good barometer of how traders feel about markets in general and and therefore can be at the wind um either in the face of or at the back of um any individual name so for now it still seems like we are in limbo and while sometimes the voodoo lines can give us some some useful information in the way we either work uh, down from this high at the voodoo fire line which was good resistance or back up from the voodoo tree line here what those methods let let us do is kind of <coughs> come in and map out how we would expect price action to behave if it was bullish and if it was bearish and then we can see which it is most consistent with and so we can sit here and say after bouncing from support and recovering the snow line if this recovers the tree line uh here at 302.61 and uh and holds it as support that keeps bulls in the game at least on a short-term basis that may evolve into a longer-term basis however if the bounce today from um from the 61.8 retrace that has regained this 292.70 snow line which is <coughs> constructive short term um if that only sends us um to or perhaps stopping uh below this voodoo tree line here at 302.61 then uh then that could send us down to test this lower tree line and maybe even break it so um so right in here we really are in limbo because the price action is not uh consistent with an uptrend or downtrend with <coughs> respect to uh any of the voodoo roadmaps uh which is a way to sort of combine you know just support and resistance with a view of the trend as well certainly from a moving <coughs> average perspective things are organized pretty bullishly and um and Microsoft would have to do a lot of repair work to get above these averages, let alone uh, organize them bullishly with the um, with the shorter term moving averages above the the longer term ones. And so, uh, for now, I think in a lot of markets, other than very short term trading, when everything looks like it's coming together short term, I think the longer opportun longer term opportunities are still to be seen. <coughs> later and so certainly um buying when we seem to be reacting at support is one way to put things in um uh in, in your favor 
prior to uh, seeing that trend emerge, right? If you really wanted to find a way to be bullish before we confirmed a resumption of an uptrend, then waiting for a pullback to 61.8 um, of the advance, right? And, and starting to get a reaction there gives you a level to work against and see if, uh, if it holds. It's just that once we get a sense of that trend, it will be easier to, um, to anticipate that something is more likely to hold. So um, so that keeps me uh, on the sidelines a bit, other than very short-term trading. We will keep an eye on these markets and try and get a sense on when things uh, change, and I will see you at the next update. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 